Hello, I would like to welcome you to this short video tutorial. Today we're going to take a look at how we set up a PDTD measurement with the HVA68 and the PD62. This is the first part of our video series regarding a complete PDTD measurement with this device configuration. Before you start measuring, make sure that you comply with the safety regulations in force in your specific country and that you have familiarized yourself with the operating instructions and the safety instruction of the devices in this configuration. Also become familiar with your measurement environment and always observe the following points. Switch off the device on the test, secure against re-energizing, discharge and proof dead, ground and short circuit, and cover and close of nearby life parts. Now we start with our measurement. Please go on the far end of the not tested faces and apply the same rules for the faces to be tested on the far end as the near end, like corona shields and the distance to other potential. The far end connections are not included in this video and will be included in a later video. In step 1 we connect all earth cables. First the DUT. In this case L2 is our DUT, we short circuit L1 and L3. Then the earth connections of the HUA. Also between the PD2 filter and the PD2 CC. Please make sure that the earth connections are as short as possible. Then connect the earth connections between the PD2 CC and the DUT. This should also be as short as possible and at the same point. In step 2 we connect the HV cables. Between the HVA and the PD2 filter. Please use the PD impedance. Then between the PD2 filter and the PD2 CC. Then between the PD2 CC and the DUT. Also here should the connections be as short as possible. Depending on your DOT, special testing adapters may be needed. In this case we use a GIS testing adapter. For voltages from 50 kV we recommend the use of Corona shields. The HV cable from the PDTD to the DOT. In step 3 we connect the power supply plug. First of the HVA. Then of the PD2. If the PD is connected with power source, the battery is charging. In step 4 we connect the communication ports. First between the PC and the PD2CC via USB cable.
then between PC and the HVA via optoconverter. During step 5 we verify that all connections are attached securely. In the final step, step 6, we turn on all units. We turn on the HVA main switch. Then we turn the key switch from the HVA to the on position. In the next step, we turn on the PD main switch. The PD device needs to be switched on in battery mode only. In case it's connected to mains, the device is switched on automatically and the switch can be left at the off position. Then we turn on the TD main switch. In the next part of this video series, we show you how you can start a PD measurement. Thank you for watching this video. If you would like more information about B2 and our products, please visit our website. And if you have any technical queries about your B2 device, please contact our technical support at support at b2hb.com.